So it's a huge day in Spain and to talk us through the final day of the season, we're joined now by Spanish football expert Semra Hunter. Very good morning to you, Semra. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's start then with the title race. Atletico in front, taking on relegation threatened via the lead. Real Madrid taking on Villarreal, of course, of the Europa League final next week. Big question, who do you think is going to win? Just with you, it's in Atletico Madrid's hands. I think that they'll end up winning the title via the lead. They put in a very poor showing last week. It's true that Sergio, their manager, decided to rotate extensively. In fact, he rotated out 10 of the 11 players to the starting 11. And they just didn't turn up and they got absolutely brutalized and lost by four goals. So if that happens again today, even though they're playing at home, then it's going to be a relative walk in the park for Atletico Madrid. And they could just steamroll their way over via the lids who have one foot, if not both, already in uh, the second division. But having said that, um, you're right. Atletico Madrid, to absolutely secure it, they do need to pick up those three points because if for whatever reason they end up drawing uh, on points, then it will go to uh, uh, Real Madrid. In fact, they would win it. Uh, for back to back, they would make back to back titles in that case. Um, Madrid, of course, they have to win their game too, but it's really exciting to see because Villarreal, even though they're in that Europa League final, they can't put all their eggs in one basket. They want to finish fifth in the table in La Liga to make sure that at the very least they have direct access into the Europa League. They're seventh right now. So um, they'll come out guns blazing absolutely in that game as well, too. Everyone has something to play for in those two games. The good news for Atletico Madrid is that every time they've gone into the final match day and they were in pole position, they ended up walking away with the title. For Real Madrid, they've been in this position before over 20 times where they've gone into the final day, still as contenders, but second in the table, and they've never been able to walk away with the title. So who knows? We could be in for a surprise first between these two sides, but it does look like it's going to go to Atletico Madrid after seven years. Great weekend in prospects, Emra. Now, look, plenty of speculation over Zinedine Zidane's future. He says he's solely focused on, on the game, as, as you'd expect him to say, of course. But <laughs> is the feeling that it's time up for him at the Bernabeu this summer? It's very typical, Zidane, to say we're only going to focus on the game at hand. I will absolutely not discuss my future as much as you want to ask. You're not getting the answer. And I think there is a bit of a, a farewell in the way that he talks. I mean, he has made comments in the past, dropping hints in press conferences that perhaps Real Madrid would be a better team without him, that perhaps he's taken the team as far as he can possibly go. It is, of course, not at all confirmed as to what the future does hold for him. But there does seem to be this wide consensus and feeling that it probably is the end of an era with him. However, it would be more his choice rather than the Cubs. They're not trying to push him out or anything like that. Quite the opposite. I think they would be quite happy for him to stay on board. It seems like it would be more his own personal decision to step away. So we might find out in the next coming days, in the next coming weeks, depending on how quickly he would like to make a decision and to make it public. But it does feel like uh, we are sadly coming to the end as much as I think many of us would love to see him continuing on the sideline for Madrid. Talking about the end of an era, Barcelona, as we know, can't now win the title. Um, Lionel Messi will not be playing then against uh, Iber in the final game. And so there's lots of speculation as to whether he's played his final game at the Camp Nou. Um, the contract is up this summer. What do you think his chances are of staying? Well, to be honest with you, I think only he knows that right now because he's made it very clear in the past that he isn't going to rush to make any sort of decision. This is a massive decision for him to make. Um, he's now going to go away, take some time, focus on the Copa America with Argentina. Um, that will be his focus for the next month or so. Barcelona, La Porta in particular, has a lot of work to do in terms of sorting out the whole situation at the club in general. The finances, who's going to be the manager, what players does he need to sell or loan, who is he looking to bring in to rebuild the squad. And he himself, Laporta, has said this week that that is what he's going to be doing. He wants to restructure the team. He wants to build a team that's going to build, uh, uh, sorry, that's going to win La Liga, that's going to win the Champions League. And so I'm sure that he has to uh, come up with an interesting prospect to actually then offer to Lionel Messi, which is something I don't think they've yet talked about. So again, there's no rush there. I think he'll take his time to see what Laporta does come up with, what the club does over the next couple of months. And based on the offer that is then given to him, he'll make a decision. So I think it's very likely that he could stay at this point in time. 
Um, but again, we have to be patient. We have to wait and see what he decides to do. But I can guarantee you that a lot of us, and myself included, would love to see him stick around for Barcelona for more years to come. Yeah, lots of uh, questions to be answered in the short and long term. Semra, thanks so much for joining us on Sky Sports News this morning. Thank you very much.